Come up. You all right? How's work? No, don't worry. Oh, no, no, it's fine. No, it's fine. I haven't played anything yet. I don't want to. Oh, no, no, I'm sure it'd be great. Thanks. Uh, listen, if you're interested, I'm playing at a pub tonight about seven. You should come, then you'd actually hear my music. <laughs> actually, that would be enough to get you in. Uh, is it the half moon? Let me see what I'm doing this evening. OK, cool. Well, it starts at seven. Boo should be cheap, too. Cool. Uh, maybe see you then. Cool. <laughs> Should we just go here? <laughs> <laughs> what year was this? I was in college. Oh, what year was college? Be nice. It's a gig, it's cool. <laughs> but you don't really go to gigs, do you? Well, I have been to gigs before. Yeah, have you, you know? Yeah. <laughs> just, just blend in. I'm blend. <laughs> I think she's coming on now, actually. What's her name again? Oh, no worries. It's for the money you gave me. Didn't want to con you. <laughs> Isn't that what Buskin's for? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how long have you been playing? A few years. You were amazing up there. Do you write much of your own stuff? Yeah, bits and bobs. They're all on there. Um, I try and sneak a few into my usual set so people don't get too confused. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of things do you write about? Oh, uh, well, basically I just bumble about and try and find something that takes my fancy. Nice. Yeah, I'd find something interesting and then I'll try and write a song about it. Oh. Yeah, it's actually really fun. You guys should come. Uh. Uh. It's a lot more fun with more people. <laughs> we should probably actually make a move. Well, there's actually a, an after party happening soon if you guys want to come. Uh, no, I really should get back. We've got to be up early. <laughs> oh, come on. It's everyone that played tonight. It should get crazy. <laughs> no, I really do have a lot to do. Thanks for the CD, though. Oh, all right then. Well, I'll see you later. See you around. See you <laughs> So what did you think of it tonight? Yeah, I thought it was good. I thought she was like probably like the best one there out of everybody. Yeah. I also think like I think her original songs are actually better than the covers she played. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. There was some quite weird people though there, right? Yeah, I guess so, but like you always get that in them sort of places. Yeah. I haven't seen flares like that in about ten years. <laughs> so, um, do you reckon you'll go on that walk? Not sure, maybe. It's a bit weird, isn't it? No, she's just friendly. Oh, hey, how are you? Meh, it's going to be a long day. Why, what have you got on? Just a load of stuff due by the end of today. It's just the finishing off, which is tedious. Well, at least you nearly finished. Yeah, I suppose. What about you? Oh, well, we're going to play here a little bit longer. Then I might play over there. Then I might play a completely different place altogether. <laughs> <laughs> but then I've got a song to finalise. Cool, I've listened to your album, by the way. Oh, uh, wow, uh, what did you think? Yeah, I really like it. Like. I think it's amazing. Thank you. Yeah, I was wondering if if you wanted some company on your next walk. Yeah, of course. Um, I'm probably going to go on one tomorrow. Will your boyfriend be coming with you? Um, no, Malcolm will be busy. I, I think it'll just be me. OK, cool. Well, how about you give me your number and I will text you when and where. Does tomorrow sound good? Um, yeah, I've got work tomorrow, but uh, after that I certainly can. Fab. Well, I'll let you know the plan then. Cool, let me know.
finally got something then. Sure. How did you get into songwriting, can I ask? Well, it's quite dumb, really. Um, when I was little, I was out with my granddad. You know how kids are when they really want something? <laughs> yeah. Well, apparently I was desperate for this notebook. Well, you've had that since you were little? No, no, not this exact one. <laughs> I've uh, got the old one at home somewhere. Mm. I have kept it all these years, though. I just, I used to write limericks and rhymes in it, and naturally, wordplay led into making songs. I used to write about people in my family, anything that would happen really. I would just write some stupid little rhyme about it and then deliver it over the dinner table. <laughs> I used to write in it all the time. I even got it taken away from me at school a couple of times. <laughs> and then I made a habit of buying a new one every year. Hmm. I have one too, but like it's only for when I have a sudden inspiration for the next groundbreaking top ten list I could write. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. I know, right? Oh, I'm enjoying it while I last. <laughs> Shit. What's wrong? It's date night, I completely <laughs> forgot. <laughs> what romantic endeavour are you going on? Probably just watch a film or something. Steady on. <laughs> <laughs> cool, well, um, I hope you've got enough to write something. Yeah, I got some good stuff. Um, say hi to Malcolm for me. Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> See ya. Have you really been listening to this? Yeah, I really like it. Stalker. <laughs> but really, I hope you had fun on your date. I'm sorry if I interrupted it. No, we were nearly finished anyway. I think it was good. She said she got some stuff. What did you do? We just walked about, really. She saw something, it's just clicked. She wrote something out really quick. Is that all she does? Yeah, I mean, I think so. She has to write the music. No, I mean, has she got a plan? Yeah, she wants to make music. No, I mean, does she have an end goal? You know, like I've got my promotion coming up, more money, more responsibility. You've got your writing, you want to write a book, get published. Is she just going to write music and earn money? Or has she got a plan? Or is she just hoping someone's going to find her busking and tip her a million quid? I... I don't know. Why are you asking me? Sorry, uh, I didn't mean to offend her. I'm glad you two are having fun, I just... Guess I don't get it. Let me know next time you two do something. I'll make an effort. Hey. Hi, how was your date? Yeah, not bad. Standard stuff. Uh, I'm in bed at the moment. Do you need something? Nah, no, not really. Just fancied a chat. My housemate's anniversary today, so they've hijacked the house. Right. Yeah, so I've got nothing to do. Do you fancy doing something? Uh, sure. Uh, actually, why don't you come here? Uh, not right now, I'm a mess. Um, the flat's a mess. Uh, I'll cook, you bring booze. Sound good? Oh my god, thank you. That sounds amazing. Uh, listen, don't worry about cooking though. I'll, I'll pick something up on my way over. You know, it's the least I can do. What's your address? Oh, thanks. You don't have to. Um, it's York Rise in Tufnell Park. Cool. Cool. I'll see you in a bit then. Shit. 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 It was, it was a nightmare, absolute <laughs> nightmare. Um, oh God, it was one of the first gigs I did, so it yeah. was sort of, you know, you, you start. I mean, I bet you get that there. a lot in those sort of little pubs like that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You know, the sound quality's not brilliant. Does it bother you? What? <laughs> that you have to like bask and like play little pubs and that? No, I mean, I'd have to think about that. I've got my whole life ahead of me. I just really like getting to see a commuter walk by and bob the head or smile as they go past. It's yeah, but what is your end goal? What? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I just really like making music. Yeah, actually, yeah. 
Oh, <laughs> here's Wonderwall. <laughs> Rough night? Mm. Good to hear. Mm. I'll put the kettle on. Mm. What the fuck are you doing here? Why are you here? <laughs> yeah, I'm talking to you. Fucking get up here and spit it out. What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm... I'm sorry. I... I, I didn't realise you were that upset. I, I mean, you're fun. I, 
mean, I really like you. We had a great time. But I just realized something. I love Malcolm. I can't just leave him. We've been together for years. You're fun, but I'm boring. If anything, you've actually helped me come out of my shell, kind of. But I like boring. I just sometimes want to have sex in a closet. That is the most narcissistic, fucked up thing I've ever heard anybody say. I'm a fucking person. Malcolm is a person. You don't treat people that way. You've just used us, got what you wanted and then fucked me over and you've left him in the dark. Who the fuck do you think you are? I'm so sorry. I thought you were a cunt. Turns out you're just an idiot. 